What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Flat Out. So in our last video we got the car home and we finished up all the, the rest of the fabrication that we needed to do on it. So now we get to take all that apart except the parts that we actually welded onto the car and stuff. But everything that we mocked up and kind of fabricated for like the um, radiator, the intercooler and all that type of stuff. All that has to come out so that way we can start cleaning up the engine bay the uh, inside of the car in the cage so that way we can paint it so we're gonna get to that and start shipping down everything and hopefully get ready to paint soon all right guys so I got the car jacked up on the front we're gonna start taking off we're actually gonna pull the mock-up block but as you guys can see I already got everything else off pretty bare but we're gonna pull the mock-up block to the uh, the trans and the power plant frame and all that so we're gonna get to that and yeah see how that goes there's a little update we pretty much got everything out of the engine bay um, except I got my external reservoirs for my coil livers which those are gonna have to stay for right now but everything's out I gotta pull finish up pulling the uh, fuel lines and the rear brake lines out because we're not gonna be using those anymore we got new ones that we're gonna have to put in so that's pretty much ready to clean and here's a little look of the inside we got to pull the pedals out and the seat out and then I got to clean up all the stuff that's in here and that's a lot of extra bolts and stuff um, nothing really back here and then back here I have the fuel cell out and you know so that way we can clean everything really easily then again, I got the external reservoirs for the rear coilovers hanging out in here. But yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. Well, ready to start cleaning everything up. I just wanted to disassemble everything before we uh, started cleaning so it just makes it easier. We pretty much have all of the seam sealer off of everything. It looks a lot cleaner this way. It's freaking makes like a spider web shit when it starts melting it's kind of cool but so we're pretty much there at least the engine bay is anyway so we just got a couple more things to do i'm going to start spraying everything down and just kind of going to once over seeing making sure everything is good and then yeah and then like these are the type of like wire wheels i'm using stuff like that and for the grinder all sorts of stuff so we're getting there what's up guys so i totally forgot to video this part um this should have been done a, about a couple days ago um i also got a new gopro so uh we're on the hero 8 instead of the hero 6 so it's kind of nice um so far i'm liking the video quality over the 6 so guys let me know in the comments about halfway through this video it'll be um switched over from the 6 to the 8 so hopefully you know video and audio is going to be better i'm going to go over some of the stuff that we did to the 8 before this so i stripped down the car and i started prepping it and sanding down the cage you know prepping the whole cage and everything for paint so right now i got the radiator just sitting here because i don't want it to get messed up because we actually did a lot of modifying to that so um that's kind of hard to replace right now so um, we got the whole engine bay painted. Um, I got a mock-up uh, subframe in right now, but the whole engine bay is painted. And then we're gonna come over here to the inside and everything is painted. So roll cage is painted white. And then we have a dark metallic gray for the interior. And then I have the dash kind of cut and mocked up in there, but we're gonna make it work a little bit better. Um, one of the main parts that I don't like is how this part is. So I'm going to have to figure out something to like fill in that area. Because that just kind of looked half-assed. Um, so I'm going to figure out something to do with that. Um, so that's in. So I just wanted to fill this in. Show you guys. Because it would look kind of dumb if we just kind of jumped to the next part. Without showing you guys you know, any of the painting. Or not painting. But any of the finished product of us painting the car. Um, but yeah, everything looks really good. I really like it. Yeah, the um, bash bar is done too. I didn't really show that, I don't think. But yeah, so on to the next point. What's going on, guys? So yesterday I spent some time uh, burning out the bushings and everything. So that way we can get to the steel, um, I guess, 
brace or whatever you want to call it for the outside of the bushing that slides into the frame so we cut those out except on i forget which one it is i think it's this one down here it actually is folded in on that side so it's kind of hard to get out on those so what we did is we cut it on the sides and fold this part in so that way we had something to hit it out with on the other side so that's how you get these out these are a pain and i did not see anybody with any type of tutorial on how to do this or anything so we just kind of had to figure it out so that's how you get these out so if you guys are trying to do this that's how you get those ones out the other ones are easy they're just you know simple punch out you know or cut and punch out or whatever um but right now i'm going to head over to xerix and i'm going to have this powder coated white to match the cage and everything so that'll be kind of cool i gotta go to the junkyard right now because two rx8s just showed up over there and i'm gonna go pull the front subframe off of them or off of one because i screwed up when i was doing the weiss fab um bmw e36 steering rack conversion so um i gotta get a new frame so that way i can actually cut it right and weld in the tabs where they're supposed to be instead of doing what i did before so it's a live and learn thing you know there was no like instructions on how to do it and i didn't see how to do it so um i had no idea but now i do so um you know i just got to get it done now so i'm gonna head over to xerix drop this off to get powder coated and then i'm gonna go to the junkyard and pull out the subframe and yes it is essential because i gotta get the car done so it's essential so something i gotta do so um of course i'm gonna be safe you know gloves mask all that stuff to do it um but you know gotta protect yourself even though you're out right now it's kind of kind of crazy right now so we gotta do what we gotta do out here doing some essential work or parts gathering for project misfit so i got the stuff frame off now i get to go home clean it up and uh yeah, kind of get it ready for the Weiss Fab E36. All right, guys, so we're back here on another day. So I went to the junkyard the other day to pull off the front subframe of another RX-8. So that way we can um, mount the Weiss Fab um, E36 conversion kit because I screwed up on the last one. And I cut way too much off because there is no, uh, there's no like how-to on this or anything to show you what it's supposed to look like. It just shows you a picture of it being on a frame. And it's like, you know, that doesn't really show you how it's actually supposed to be done or anything like that so i've been kind of flying on the dark here so i got a couple posts out on purely rx8 and i think it's rx8 club to maybe see if anybody else has done it and kind of give me an idea how it's supposed to be but other than that i got the frame in i cut off the old mount and i got the uh got it mocked up right now sort of, i mean it's kind of in the spot where it should be i guess because the these bolt holes are supposed to line up with the holes that are in the frame so they're there pretty much i just gotta cut it just a little bit more off i think and then we'll be good and then i have our e36 rack right there and then i also have the uh joint that's supposed to connect from the rx8 to the e36 so we should be good there and then the other thing i gotta figure out is the distance for the tie rods and everything that are supposed to be there you know that's just a whole nother story that we're gonna have to figure out i did all or i've gotten that far and then with the rear subframe i have it over at Zarek's. um it's going to his powder coating guy to get powder coated before we put the bushings in because i just wanted to, you know i want to start fresh with this car and you know make everything the way i want it from the start so we're gonna start off clean with the new bushings and everything like that and then Oh, there's the box for the, uh, the rack. And then these are my Eibach R2 coilovers. And then I have all the Megan links. So all those are solid. Um, they got spherical bearings in them and stuff like that. So that's solid. And then I also have a uh, S2 diff with the 4.77s in it. And solid bushings in the rear. And then the racing beat uh sway bar. And then same with the other side. Same links and everything. So yeah, it's kind of getting... Uh, messy and clustered in here gotta kind of start organizing stuff or start putting stuff back in the car where it should be and um we're just waiting on the powder cutting from the one frame and then figuring out this and then i can start really you know assembling everything else so i got some news on the motor um i'm gonna be building it this time i want to start uh learning how to do it and not learning how to do it but i know how to do it it's just i have to actually do it it's kind of one of those like hands-on things you know you gotta gotta do it in order to figure it out i that's how i am and you know it's time to start doing it just in case if we have an issue with it at the mo at the track 
I can pull the motor and, you know, fix it. Instead of like, oh, we just wasted a weekend, you know, the motor blew up or, you know, something. So, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do is we're, we're going to start doing our own motors. And, you know, luckily, you know, Kyle is a good buddy of mine and he's offering to help out when I need it. And, you know, I got some good support in general. So, um, thanks to everybody that's been supportive and this whole build. And, you know, if I need anything, they're there to help. So thank you to you guys and thanks for all of you that watch and support us, you know, our channel and stuff like that. But uh, for right now, that's where we're at. And um, hopefully I should get the, or hopefully I should get the subframe back from powder coat in about a week, week and a half. Because I got acid dip and everything that, you know, clean off the old powder coat from factory. So that way, that way the new uh, powder coat will stick good and um we won't have any issues with it and this thing i'm gonna figure it out um like i was saying before there's no um how to or anything to tell you how to do this properly or the way they want you to so i'm still trying to figure that out so um as i get information on how to do it right then i'll be able to do it and show you guys and that way everybody else can do it without any issues so this is just a little update on what's been going on i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys got any questions don't be afraid to hit us up um i'll tell you what i know and if i don't i probably know somebody that does and then if we don't then we just gotta figure it out you know through the internet and you know pages like purely and arcs at club and all that we'll try to figure it out and so thank you very much you guys stay safe out there and hope you guys have a good one